Hello and welcome to the Craft Papa Show. On today's episode, we're going to be crafting, uh, copying this Doctor Who, the Tenth Doctor, David Tennant, my favorite of all Doctor Who's. I picked this up on uh, eBay. It was a three pack. Uh, this doctor, a Cyberman, and something else I could not identify. Um, pretty good deal, too. 20 bucks or something. Uh, I don't know. Uh, these uh, used, these go for quite a bit. So, anyways, I decided to make a copy of it. And I wasn't 100% sure when I started what I was doing. Uh, what I was making. Uh, by the title, you know it's Men in Black, but I didn't come to that point till I was looking at the sunglasses. And in fact, I tried to get the sunglasses off, or uh, they're 3D glasses from like one episode, and uh, maybe two. But uh, I was uh, looking at them and I thought, you know, those would look pretty good blacked out. And then I went, oh, hey, he's wearing a suit and tie, Men in Black. So anyways, here we are. We put him in the can. We got his feet hot glued to the bottom. We got the uh, air vents in the hands to make sure those come out. And here we're just pouring in the composite mold, fresh from the microwave. This is several pours. I was, uh, I've been experimenting on lower temperatures for the composite mold. I've been overcooking it. Um, if it's boiling, it's way too hot and that kind of damages it so uh, keep the microwave low I do um, hey there's a F and T <laughs> that's what I watch when I craft if you didn't know but um, uh, anyways it uh, damages the composite mold over time it gets uh, harder and harder to see through and eventually you need to buy new and uh, either extend the life of what you got or um, to never throw it out. You can always use it for other projects, but uh, anyways, you'd have to get more. But so uh, uh, my advice is put it in for 30 seconds at a time. I've been doing a minute at a time, and I think it's too hot. So 30 seconds at a time, let it kind of cool off. If you need to, do it again. And this has also helped with their uh, hot glued feet to the bottom of the can. Sometimes I got that too hot. Uh, boiling the uh, composite mold and uh, they would fall off or they wouldn't the the model would fall into the mold somewhere and it, it, a lot of times I'd have to scrap it and start over so just a little FYI keep it cool if you can um, so here uh, is the next day I got him uh, out of the mold we're taping it back up for the resin and we're taping, taping, and here we go. So I decided to go with tan because uh, I have been having such a hard time with the skin colors, um, with the uh, really cheap paint I keep buying because it's cheap. So uh, while I'm working on getting some higher quality paint, I decided just to do the whole thing tan. The majority of the color is going to be black, and if I had better paint, I would have done black. <clears throat> but uh, I don't, so here's tan. And this tan um, colorant is uh, solid instead of clear, and you get, uh, I mean, it's good. So uh, this is from uh, Composite Mold. I think they're about 20 bucks a bottle. Uh, worth its weight in gold. I mean, just a drop or two. This is just a couple of drops. Uh, maybe even I put too much. I'm not sure. Because it was a little bit too dark. So I could have added a little bit of white and kind of picked it up a little bit, but I didn't. And here's the pour. And I'm kind of squeezing the bottom a little bit, getting those bottom bubbles out. Um. I didn't do it enough. You'll see here why in a minute. Uh, that band-aid is an injury that happened on the bullseye episode, which will be in a couple of weeks. 
or maybe next week. I don't know. And here we're just getting the rest of the bubbles out. What I'm trying to do is uh, make sure the nose and chin form. I've been having troubles recently with that, which I have a solution to, but haven't gotten around to doing it yet. So here is, I'm pretty sure two days later, and maybe three. I know it wasn't the next day. And there it is. Okay, so now we're pulling off the uh, outside bits. Those will be important later. And here is the model here. Just, just get it out of there. Here we go. So you see the devastatingly large hole in the chin. Uh, chins are hard. You know, you're pouring upside down. It makes a cavity. It's natural. Uh, almost every figure I've casted had problems with the chin. So I'm thinking, uh, you know, pour it in with the... Uh, kind of pouring a little bit through the feet and put it face down so you know like enough to fill the head so you know that you can uh, fill that chin but so I took a little bit off his leg here and I, was, I was having some problems here with the super glue here we go and I just filled up the chin with super glue and stuck his little leg bit in there there we go And this is the next day. You don't have to wait a day. I just had other things to do. And we're just kind of shaping it up here. And I think it ended up pretty good. And with all the uh, overcast uh, flashing and that stuff on the outside, I, I had a lot of little bits to choose from. I had one cut out from the outside and dropped it. <laughs> so I had to grab another one. I couldn't find it either. It was weird. Uh, one of the problems with working outside, but I love working outside. And we just put on... Uh, so these are the three parts, just his two hands and his head that uh, are not going to be black in color, being that he's a men in black. Oh, and his uh, white shirt. So I just hit it with the spray paint. This is Walmart spray paint. The kind that used to be 98 cents a can. I don't know what it is. This is an old can of paint. Now, uh, this is later the same day, I think. And we're just pulling the uh, tape off. And okay, so we're doing... Oh, come on, go up. Okay, so I wasn't really watching the camera here. There we go. So I'm hand painting the shirt here. And I I didn't think about it till later, but I should have made the flashy thing and put that in his hand. Uh, that would have been perfect. But again, I did <laughs> I started casting him and I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do with it with the initial mold. There's the sunglasses. And I'm just doing that uh, kind of hair technique I accidentally stumbled across doing the Mike Myers Kirk video. Uh, which is just brown with just a little bit of white in it and kind of swirl it in there. It looks pretty cool. I like it. I should have went a little darker though. And then he just stands there with the other doctor who's staring at him. This part's pretty long here. What is going on? Okay. And then we're doing the tie. A little bit of black. And done. So thank you so much for watching. You all have a great day now. And we'll see you next week or later today. I don't know. Have a great day. Bye-bye.